In this video, we'll be looking at 10 real flying cars coming before 2030. You will be surprised by the developments made so far. Number 10. Toyota Skydive Toyota has been one of the leading car manufacturers for many years, so it's not surprising that they have joined the race in developing flying cars. The company has invested in a group of their employees who are working tirelessly to develop the futuristic electric flying vehicle called Skydive. This car was being designed by 30 Toyota employees who are being led by Tsubasa Nakamura. They are developing the vehicle in their spare time. The idea of this car first came in 2012 when Nakamura developed its prototype. He and his team even won a competition with their initial design under the team name Cartivator. Before the COVID-19 virus pandemic disrupted sports activities in 2020, the team had hoped that Skydive would be used to light the flame of the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. Unfortunately, the Olympics game can't hold, as it was shifted to July 2021 due to the pandemic. Skydive is probably the smallest electric vehicle in development. It is 2.9 meters long, 1.1 meters tall, and 1.9 meters wide. The team planned to top the landing speeds of the vehicle at 150 km per hour with cruising speeds that would exceed 100 km per hour. If everything continues to go well, the team hoped to have Skydive ready for mass production by 2030. Number 9. Aeromobile 4.0 the Aeromobile is a rotable aircraft being designed by Stefan Klein and Aeromobile SRO. Its prototype was conceived as a vehicle that can be converted from an automobile to an aircraft. There have been different versions of it up to date, with newer versions being an upgrade of the previous one. For example, the Advanced 3.0 version is a modification of the 2.5 version, which enables it to take off at 90 miles per hour. This 3.0 version has a range of 430 miles and a fuel consumption rate of 15 liters per hour in flight mode. As of 2020, there have been five developmental versions of the Aeromobile, including 1.0, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, and 4.0. The earliest versions lacked folding wings, while the later ones have folding wings and fins around the wheels. From version 3.0 upward, the designers included a ballistic parachute. In April of 2017, Aeromobile SRO unveiled the production model at Top Marquee Monaco. They also announced that they would start accepting pre-orders for a limited first edition. The first edition was to consist of no more than 500 vehicles, and the first 25 ordered were planned as a Founders Edition, with series-specific product content along with an expanded benefits package. Number 8. Pal V Liberty PAL-V Liberty is a compact two-person aircraft that can travel on public roads. PAL-V is a Dutch aerospace company which has been actively involved in the race to develop the first commercial flying car. PAL-V Liberty runs on two engines each specially designed for use on the road or in the air. The vehicle has been clocked at a top land speed of 160 km per hour and can reach 180 km per hour in the air. This 100-horsepower supercar can even cover a maximum range of 500 kilometers. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 910 kilograms. PAL-V Liberty works like a gyroplane. Hence, its blades are powered by the wind, meaning that they will rotate as long as there is wind. In March of 2020, the company signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Indian state of Gujarat to set up a manufacturing and export unit in Gujarat. The company aims to export PAL-V from India to the other countries by 2021. PAL-V has two different editions, the Liberty Sport and the Liberty Pioneer. The Sport Edition starts from $300,000, and the Pioneer Edition will be $500,000. Number 7. VRCO Neo X-Craft VRCO Neo X-Craft is being designed to be an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle or VTOL. This vector thrust high-speed vehicle which will be able to fly, drive on land, and land and take off on water. This futuristic vehicle is being designed by the British company VRCO. The project started in 2016 with operational testing in 2019 and certification in 2020. Neo X-Craft has multiple safety systems, including a suite of sensors to assist its pilots and also to detect and avoid objects using LiDAR technology. The sensors will keep passengers safe both on the ground and in the air. 
It also has an emergency parachute system in case of multiple engine failure or total power failure. Its ducts and propellers can go from vertical lift to horizontal flight mode. The vehicle will cruise at 210 miles per hour with at least a 60 minute duration with a flying distance of 75 miles. It is designed to have a 25 minute recharging period. Its VTOL mode will enable it to carry about 180 kilograms of load, which is approximately two passengers. The vehicle is already available for pre-order and is expected to cost over $2 million to get one. Number 6. Lilium Jet Lilium Jet is being developed by a German startup called Lilium Aviation. It is being planned to be a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Unlike many other flying cars currently under development, Lilium Jet will be able to carry up to five passengers. One exciting feature of this vehicle will be the ability to summon using an app on a smartphone. This VTOL flying car will be both electric powered and jet powered. It has 36 electric motors, with six of them on each of the two front wings and 12 on each rear wing. A 1 megawatt lithium ion battery powers the 36 electric ducted fans. Even with this, it's less than 150 kilowatt hours is required to cruise. Its jet powered mode is expected to have a top range of around 300 kilometers and promises to make a trip between London and Paris in around an hour. The propellers and engines fixed to the wings are each installed in 12 tiltable wing parts. They are called flaps. These drive carrying flaps will be pivoted downwards for a vertical launch. When it gets transited to the horizontal position, forward thrust will be generated. This makes the process energetically economical. Lilium hopes to have the vehicle up and running by 2025. Number 5. Terrafusia Transition Terrafusia Transition is a rotable vehicle under development by Terrafusia since 2006. This vehicle is planned to have a flight range of 787 kilometers and a cruising flight speed of 107 miles per hour. Transition has four wheels, including folding wings and a rear-mounted pusher propeller. It is powered by a four-cylinder hybrid electric engine and can fly 100 miles an hour at altitudes of up to 9,000 feet with a flying range of 400 miles. It has an airframe parachute and an optional autopilot. When on the roads, it uses conventional brake and accelerator pedals and a steering wheel. With normal traffic, it can drive up to 70 miles per hour. When in the air, it uses usual yoke and rudder pedals. With the help of a push of a button, you can convert this car into a flying plane. According to Terrafusia, it converts from a driving to a flying mode in less than a minute. When it wants to go in flying mode, it takes off like a helicopter, and when in the air, it behaves like a plane. It has seats for up to four people and can carry up to 635 kilograms in its cargo designed cabin. Terrafusia conducted the first flight test in 2006. As of August 2020, the transition has not been delivered to customers. Number 4. Carplane The Carplane is a German rotable aircraft under development by Carplane GmbH. Its nearly complete prototype was first shown in 2015. This flying vehicle is intended to be supplied complete and ready to fly. It is one of the few flying cars to be awarded a government subsidy. Developmental funds of this vehicle are being provided by the European Union and the German state of Lower Saxony. The car plane features a folding cantilever high wing and two individual single-seat enclosed cockpits in a side-by-side -side configuration in separate fuselages with individual bubble canopies. The vehicle also has a fixed quadricycle landing gear with 15-inch wheels and a single engine in pusher configuration. This flying car is a convergence product. This means that it's designed to handle all kinds of usage, including private and commercial. The developers take road emissions very seriously, so they are designing it such that it won't cause noise pollution. Number 3. DeLorean DR7 A company called DeLorean is currently developing a flying car. DeLorean DR7 will feature electric propulsion and is expected to be fully autonomous. This means owners won't need a pilot's license to fly it. It will be a twin forward and rear tilt propeller flying car developed for personal use. The forward and rear propellers will be capable of 360 degrees forward and back tilt. In vertical mode, the vehicle will be able to achieve vertical takeoff and landing. It will carry two passengers in tandem configuration. Its wings will fold the vehicle to a 2.3 meter width, allowing it to fit in a garage. 
there is currently no hard timeline for tests. The company is currently seeking investors for a full-size prototype. They plan to build a full-scale prototype before the end of 2020. When completed, costs per unit of the vehicle are expected to be in the $250,000 to $300,000 range. Number 2. Samson Sky Switchblade The Samson Sky Switchblade is an American rotable aircraft under development by Samson Motorworks. It was publicly introduced in 2009 in mock-up form. The vehicle is still under development, and as of July 2019, the company indicated it was working towards a first flight. The Samson Switchblade comes with a design that makes it very efficient for almost everyday use. It is being designed to fly at a rate of 200 miles per hour and up to a height of 13,000 feet. It has seats for two people and can also accommodate 100 pounds of luggage. The vehicle will also have its own heating and air conditioning to make all weather conditions enjoyable for its passengers. In the driving mode, it uses a 5-speed transmission and its wings and tails are extendable and perfectly protected while you are driving it on the road. Initial production is focusing on the development of a kit version for amateur construction. The company hoped that a ready-to-fly light sport aircraft model or a type certified model might be developed in the future. Number 1. Wisk Cora in December of 2019, the Boeing Company and Kitty Hawk Corporation established a joint venture forming a new company called WISC. The aim of the new company is for the parties to benefit from each other on the new developments they have both made in VTOL. So far, the company is progressing and has even gotten a significant financial backing by Google co-founder Larry Page. WISC's first electric VTOL aircraft is the Cora Autonomous Aircraft. Cora is a two-passenger autonomous EVTOL aircraft. WISC has plans to make a larger passenger EVTOL aircraft in the future. This flying car features 12 lift fans to provide it with a vertical takeoff and landing capability. These are all electric and are able to be moved independently of one another. The vehicle has independent electric-powered lifting propellers mounted on its 36 feet long wings. It also has a tricycle-wheeled stationary landing gear. The Cora is capable of reaching heights between 150 and 900 meters and has been clocked at a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. So those are 10 of the real flying cars coming before 2030. Which of them would you like to get if you have the money? Do you think these vehicles have a good prospect for our society? Let us know in the comments section below.